What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Mike. How y'all doing today? It's a nice Tuesday evening. Sun's just about going down. I feel like going for a ride, so I brought the bike out. Yes, sir. One thing about LA, man, that I really don't enjoy is the fact that there's no lights with turn signals. You gotta sit and wait for your turn on just a regular street. And if people don't wanna let you go, they won't. So I'm just gonna follow this car out. Yes, sir. Get into it. Uh, let me go ahead and borrow your parking lot real quick. Oh no, it's locked. See, I'd be unfortunate if I cared. <laughs> uh, let's see, where are we at with it? I have no idea. Let me hop off real quick. If you didn't know what I was riding before, and this is my 2015 F09. I've done a little bit of work to it. I have the cages, the blue halo light to match the rims. It's a little bit off, but it's okay. I got a full system rolling through here. Just, you know, that Amazon special exhaust. It does it what it needs to do. Go ahead and hear that thing. You know what it does. <laughs> Indeed. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and blur that out. <laughs> you don't need that. But yeah, it's my bike. I had this bad boy for a little bit while. Beforehand, I had a 2016 FZ09, the blue version of this guy. The exact same bike. I'll post a picture right here. And um, yeah, nah, I was in love. And I unfortunately sold that one. So I uh, picked this guy up. And ever since, man, I've just been in love again with the riding, just the power of the FZ09. There's a little bit of crack in my system. Like this bike needs is a steering dampener a steering stabilizer because when you're putting this thing down at anything over 40 um kilometers per hour to be exact it, it uh oh i'm in neutral it likes to wiggle and not a good wiggle uh i learned how to wheel what bike was my damn excuse me did i hit your mama or something damn camera might not have picked it up but buddy was on my elbow with it my first bike that i wheeled on um I learned how to wheelie on an FZ07, 2015 Yamaha FZ07 to be exact. And I had that bike up until about uh, two months ago. Yeah, I sold it. Oh, this is January. I sold it in November on Thanksgiving. Sold it to a college kid. Shout out my guy. And um, yeah, that was the first bike that I actually learned how to wheelie on. I used to have an 0304 ZX6R, the 636. And I wheelied that bike once and was terrified, so I never wheelied it again. Um, and um, yeah, I wasn't much of a big wheelie guy back then, but um, I got the FZ07 and ever since I got it, everyone was telling me it's torque monster this, torque that, torque this, torque specs. <laughs> and um, I just started to really practice. I would take it really anywhere, practice how to wheelie, clutch up, you know, just bring that clutch in, put it down. That's all I would practice all day. And of course, the rear brake. What you do not want to do is forget the rear brake. Because if you get the bike up too high, you can rely on engine braking, yes. But if the uh, engine braking isn't as severe as the... Did my voice crack? As severe as the F07 is, you might be out of luck, you know, trying to rely on that engine braking. The F07 is a great bike to start on just because... It has all the torque, the power vans right there, it's a Yamaha, so you know they don't miss. I don't know what it is about Yamaha. I started out on a Kawi. Um, please don't turn. My life is in your hands, thank you. I started out on a Kawi Ninja 300 to be exact. But I slowly transitioned to Yamaha with that FC07. This is my third, this is a bad idea. This is my third, thank you, uh, Yamaha bike. And um, will not be my last, I'll say that right now. It's pretty fun. <laughs> That's for your son, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I'm a super gremlin. Yeah! Just kidding. Don't do wheelies, kids. They're bad for you. I swear this is a frat house. Um, but yeah. 
started on the FZ07 and I was really killing it with that guy for a while. I might post a couple clips in here. My FZ07 days, man. I used to rip that thing all around through San Diego. Um, I went to school in San Diego and that's when I started picking up motorcycles. School as in college, higher education it is the way to go. It's a good time. Um, but yeah, so I picked up motorcycling again for the third time in my life around uh, 2019. It is 2022 and um, I really just missed this light. That's what I just really did. Anywho, yeah, I picked up legally riding street bikes in 2019 before that my brother had had me on his dirt bikes and things in the south and um, that was a good time and all but you're only limited to the off-roading things which is a great way to learn it's a lot softer of a, a learning a learning curve you know god forbid you fall if you fall it hurts yeah but i'll take dirt over pavement any day uh, but yeah i learned how to ride in the dirt in the dirty south but I, I really found the love for motorcycles then and it translated into this as you can see uh, so yeah I've been riding legally for about three years now beforehand I say illegally because I didn't have a license and while I was in college I just really got into flipping motorcycles and I got really good at it for some reason um, you know just studying the seasons of when bikes would be sell sold around this time or what type of rider would like this type of bike just a little things about the, the, the market that I was in. And I still do it here and there. Um, I'm in my career now. I sound like old man saying that, but that's another blessing. I'm in my career now. So I don't necessarily need it as much as a source of income as when I was in college. But um, I still do sell motorcycles occasionally. Um, but yeah, so. The FZ07, back to it, man. That thing was a snappy little theme, and I would take it through the like the canyons that were around San Diego. I would take it through everything. I think I took that bike off-roading once on accident. Um, and then after that, it was on purpose. But uh, no, yeah, it's a great little bike. Little for me because I'm above six feet. So my knees were like this on the bike. I was hugging the bike. But I, I always run cages on my bikes. Um, this is the thing about me. And my knee would always bump that cage. Always. It was like clockwork. Every single day I would bump the cage. I'm like, damn. What can I do about this? Nothing. But slide back. And um, that's what I did. So, uh, yeah. That's where I was at. But yeah, I've been, you know, popping wheelies here and there. Like I said, I'm not the best do them for fun i don't do them you know for miles and miles like some guys might be able to yeah man riding is a great adventure it's a little bit of fun it's a little bit of crack a little bit of energy you know what i'm saying <laughs> it's a little adrenaline rush each time you know what i mean right now it's like premium traffic time because everybody just got off work i'm gonna cut you off buddy i um, there you go. I don't know if y'all heard the, can hear the clutch. I can hear it. That's why I say something. Like I said, do not worry. I soon will have its replacement in and installed. You got a turn signal on. I see there's a car with a turn signal on up ahead for hazards. So we're going to ride around that. Am I going legal speeds? Yeah, 50 kilometers. <laughs> um, let's take a trip on the wild side, brother. Is there a Domino's right there? There is. Hey, shout out Domino's. I know y'all might not see this, but hey, look, man. I need to hit my calories, and they always come in clutch. I appreciate y'all. Y'all do that thing for your boy. I'm saying y'all keep the pieces nice and cheap here, man. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. Look, I do my best to be li like for y'all to hear me but um when i get them little some little fits man you know what i'm saying you can't break it you hear me <laughs> i'm not even sound like that <laughs> but um no it's crack crack as in life as my drug you know 
and there might be a, a hinge or a, just a splash of ADHD in there. Undiagnosed though, I don't want to claim anything. You know, we rebuked, we rebuked that around here. But uh, yeah, these are the views of the city that I'm neighboring or in. Um, I'm gonna make sure that I get out and ride to show you all the area some more pretty soon. See what I mean? If you're not on your cues out here, man, you're in the back of somebody's car. You're sitting in their back seat waving at them. And that just doesn't sound like a good time to me. But, um, I've been talking for forever. Oh, wow, that car has stopped. I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna make my way back home. Uh, catch y'all in another video of me talking about just overall things that I've learned, uh, motorcycles in general, just maintenance, small things like that. I'm gonna just walk you all through it. Uh, and for my new riders who are out there who may be watching, mess with your boy, you know what I mean? I've been on damn near every bike out there. Oh wow, you braked a lot. I've been on damn near every bike. I've even rode cruisers, yes. Everyone loves cruisers. I haven't rode a Harley, actually. So maybe one of these days I'll get some footage for y'all on a Harley of me with it. Is that a little pond? Yo, I've been living over here for like five months and I've never... Uh, yeah, I'm back over here in the daytime, trust. Trust. I'm back over here in the day. Oh, I know where I'm at. But, um, yeah. And even those who hey, even those who don't ride or never will ride, so content for y'all too, man. We could just have some uh, some fun. Y'all can experience it through me. That's the thing I want to do. I definitely want to have y'all experience it through me. The different routes, the different um, styles of riding, learning. Oh, it's a little learning about you know just things in general. I know y'all can't talk directly back to me, but. Uh, we could talk <laughs> indeed um but yeah just overall have a good time and uh look forward to seeing y'all in the next one i'm gonna make my way home now i am in the middle of some city um probably the neighboring city or one of the neighboring cities i just don't have to turn somewhere uh, oh my gosh but yeah i'll talk to y'all later and um it's your boy, your man, your favorite local menace. It's your boy Mike, man, signing out. Talk to y'all in a bit.